Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video about um, vintage coach bags and rehabbing and um, I've shown this olive green prairie before to you guys. It's this nice olive green color, um, kind of like a camo green. And uh, when I showed you that video on how I reshaped it and I decided not to dunk it because there's an ink stain um, inside, um, well, that didn't last long <laughs> because I can't help myself. Um, I feel like I'm not using the bag as much because um, the shape wasn't quite as quite the, the, the right shape it wanted to be. And also I found that um, in some of the pockets, I don't know, like OCD kicked in and I, I just wanted to clean it. So um, at first I wasn't sure whether or not I should because again, there's, there's that ink spot right there. Like, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is like at the bottom, um, close to the right side. Um, back wall uh, of the bag so you, you can't see it really um, it's it's gone now I was able to um, get rid of it by just getting some baby wipes and paper towels and blotting it so I rubbed it with baby towel for a bit get it like a bit wet and then blotted it with um, paper towels and I went through so many paper towels I, I I, you won't believe it. It's just, yeah, it's a lot of ink. So anyway, I was hoping that it wouldn't go um, seep through the leather. But unfortunately, and I'm, I have to like show you this in case you're in my situation. Um, you see that little spot there? I don't know if you guys can see like that. There you go. That's the ink. Um, right after I blotted it and everything, this wasn't here. Um... Even, like, I think it must have bled more during the dunk. And I even made sure that there wasn't any more ink getting blotted on the paper towel before I dunked it. Yet, it still appeared. So, just word of warning, if you were to dunk a bag with ink, um, and, you know, the ink will bleed, um, just make sure that you blot and blot and blot. As I did it, I really did it well, and I can assure you, there was no um, ink anymore, no paper towel after I was done. But still, like I guess there was like some more left in there that I wasn't able to get. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so there's a little bit there. It's not so bad because it's at the bottom. So you're always like sitting the bag like this anyway. And even if it's like this, it's like barely noticeable. But I, I just know it's there. So anyway, so this is the bag. Um, all dried. I've conditioned this already. I've reshaped it. There's no like wonky um, shape sticking out on the side. As you can see there, like I got it. Uh, I got the body a bit better now. So even on the side here, right? And it's not bulging out, which I like. And now it's really got that like good prairie shape. It's not so tall up here like before. So this is where I want the bag to be. So in terms of like dunking and is it worth to have that ink stain bleed? I think in my case, yes. I, I would rather it like this than previously. Um, I want to show you guys an update. So if you're wondering what's in here, it's actually the, the hardware. So it's like here. I have already polished this and if you watched my um, how to polish video, I suggested using Brasso and um, just like a green scour pad. So something like this, like, you know, like kitchen, normal kitchen scour pad. So this would work, um, no doubt. It actually also works even without Brasso. So uh, let me share you, with you guys what I did or what I have been doing lately. So, if you get, um, so it's either, you know, the green scour pad or like a quadruple zero, quadruple zero steel wool like this. So it's very, very fine steel wool. It's like super non-abrasive at all, like compared to your normal kitchen steel wool. And you can find this in, the, in any hardware store, I think. It's very cheap. It's like, I think for this bag, it's like three bucks. 
Um, so anyway, so you can you can do either one, um, but instead of Brasso, or, or if you don't have any of those like polishing uh, products uh, on hand, you can use actually just straight up vinegar. So this one used to be tarnished, like it's scratched, tarnished. Um, you can see here, I didn't really do much on the other side of the of the plate, the round oval plate. But on the other side, I polished it really well. I was just being lazy, but yeah, it's it's okay. It's clean now. Um, <clears throat> what I did was after I before I dunk the bag, I take out all the hardware, right? And I put it in this little cup, and this little cup is just, you know, and just a normal cup. So I put it like this, all like, I don't even touch it, I don't polish it, I don't scrub it before I put vinegar on it. So it's like straight up vinegar, just plain good old white vinegar. I let it soak for a um, couple days, like maybe three days in the vinegar, and I just put it somewhere away where... I don't have to smell it. <laughs> no one can like bump it and accidentally spill vinegar everywhere. So I just put it in a place where, you know, it's it's gone out of sight. And I come back to it 3 days later and I rinse it in water and you it will show how like some of the tarnished spots will appear black. Um and then what I do is that I get the scour pad or the triple zero uh steel wool and you just scrub or you just um, polish it with that so just lay it on the um, a table flat surface and just start doing it and eventually it will be like this so you don't even have to get to have brasso or magic or whatever what was that the other one blue magic was it um, none of that you, you don't you don't need that at all um, it comes off it'll take a couple of days for the vinegar to work and it will eat through that um, the coating that they use on these brass hardware but it will do the job for sure so like see how how shiny this is so so yeah so that's um part one and then now because of that the bag is all dried i just want to um i guess do this with you guys so stay stay on if you're interested and it won't be i probably have to edit some parts because there might be swearing involved <laughs> uh it's always like hard to do these um, hardware putting hardware back but let's let's just show the turn lock part so see see what I mean by not avoiding swearing um, it's really hard sometimes to put these on and just make sure that it's all lined up right so now I've got my four prongs poking out at the back there. And you have to get your oval plate. This plate. So nice side, nice side up. And people use like different tools um, when they put hardware on, but I I find that an old small a small old spoon will work to push the hardware back and I'll let you guys see what I mean um, so yeah so now it's all good there I'll just lay the bag here and I've got my my prongs lined up and I've got the the spoon let me just do the angle this way okay so you push down and you push in the spoon to get your prongs to stick downward. So instead of using your, your fingers, which will do nothing, um, just take a spoon and push it. So see there? Oops. Sorry about that. Um, You have to exert some effort to pushing these prongs down. So it's this now. So now it's back. 
it's back on. I mean, I could do like probably a better job, but I think it will stay. It looks fine. Um, on the other side, it's not moving or anything. Like it's it's stuck on there now. It's not gonna move anywhere. So, so that's one part, and we have the male part, which is this, and the back side. So this one's always a bit harder too because you have to reach for inside the bag. So that's in there now, it's, as you can see. Let me just, yeah, there you go. And it's always harder because of the flap, but just align the uh, the other part there and you won't be able to see but same process just get the spoon and push push down on the prongs And make sure that it doesn't move anymore. So now it's good. You see that? It's laid flat inside, it doesn't wiggle. And when you do this, voila! Done. And I've got the uh, the ball hook, is that what it's called? Like the chain for the hang tag? Let me just get the hang tag. off the bag nice and uh, all done so loop this in like this into the circle and let's put this on there you have it so all complete um, now it's back to the bag is back fully on um, it's got all the hardware polished. See how nice and shiny that is? And that's got no um, no brasso, no chemicals, just vinegar. It's just straight up vinegar and some elbow grease. And look how pretty it is. I feel like the dunk really made a difference um, in terms of color. I think that the color you see right now is coming up true to color. Um, and it's really, really a nice green. And there you go. So, it's a 360 of the bag. Look how nice it is. And there you have it. Even the inside is clean now, so it's clean inside out. Um, I chose not to do like a finishing leather balm on it just because I like how matte it is right now and I'll just keep it like this way um, until I feel like it needs a leather polish but but yeah um, I hope you guys got some good tips on the doing the hardware if you're short on materials or you don't want to spend more money on it just try vinegar and a kitchen scrub and that will do as long as you don't like riff on it and uh, get like get it scratched like really badly, I think this will this is like the perfect method. So, anyway, that's it for today, guys. Hope you have a good weekend and stay safe. Bye.